Today a smaller mobs mod for 1.16.5. Ahoy you guys, I'm Yogmouse and welcome to Fins and Tails. Hope you enjoy it and let's start with the video. Small fish. Weas are small fish that are easy prey for many predators this mod adds. There are many different variants of it. The blue wee in cold oceans turned into blue dye. The pea wee in jungles turn him into lime dye. Wee wee in rivers. Vibra wee as well in jungles. Alone, these aren't that great of a food source, but you can combine them with a mushroom stew for a wee delight. Flatback suckers tend to stay near the ground as they love to suck for food. Eat him or turn him into brown dye. All of these fish you can tactical fish. Bigger fish. In deep oceans, high finned blues spawn similar to small sunfish. You can eat them. Ornate bugfish can be found in coral reefs. They will kill anything on sight. He can be turned into bugfish meat that can be cooked. They also rarely drop bugfish, mandibles, an item used for a new banner pattern, or use the item itself as she is. Phantom Nudibranch lives in deep cold oceans, fragile beings. Swamp mucker don't swim, they propel. Living in swamps, rarely they can drop winds that can be used to make winged boots. They inflict you with slowness on land, but it will increase your swimming speed underwater. They come with a new enchant, Fluked Edge maximum level 2, that allows players to jump out of the water, like reptiding. In cold biomes, the small teal arrowfish hunts down all smaller prey, often killing blue wees. Golden river rays live in rivers and love to hunt snails, more about them later. They drop the meat that can be cooked to get a fillet. Nightlight squid are a new relative of the squids in cold biomes. It drops its tentacle, which can be used to make luminous calamari, eat it raw or cooked. It will inflict night vision, or chained tentacle, a variant of chains that should emit light. For me, it didn't work. Banded red back shrimps spawn in coral reefs. They drop themselves and can be cooked. Spindly gem crabs spawning in coral reefs. You can encounter them in five different colors. If you are vicious enough to stuff them into a new block called the crab crusher, sometimes they will then be converted into gems, which you can use to make this block. If you combine gem crabs with shrimps and mushroom stew, you get a reef cocktail. Grants resistance and water breathing. In lukewarm oceans, players can find their relatives, bull crabs. These breeds can be found in white, which are more passive, and in red, the ones that even hate its own kind. Both of them can drop the claw that can be combined to get claw gauntlets in white and red. It comes with a new enchant uppercutting that flings your opponent into the air while in water. The claw can also be cooked. With two cooked fish, a bull crab, and a bowl, you get seafood soup. With two bread, a gem crab, and a bull crab, a crab sandwich. That one grants strength. Snails. Flatback leaf snails live in forests. Dropping their shell and slime balls upon death can be converted into these blocks. River pebble snails live near rivers and are prey of golden river rays. Their shell can be used for these new blocks. A side roll whiskered snails are home to mountains. Their shell can be used to make blocks, but also mix them with the other shells, creating interesting patterns. Every one of them can be converted to bone meal or made into the new banner pattern. To transport them, use flower pots. On beaches, you will find a new cute companion, the peglil. They love eating small fish such as blue wees and are a mixture between parrots and penguins. Tame them with high finned fish and transport them with buckets. You can tell it to sit or follow. And to get the easter egg texture, rename the peglin to Lord. Mud horses are a breed between seahorses and pipefish. They love to snip food with their long noses in swampy water. Upon death, they can drop their leather, a handy item. Firstly, the gem crab amulet, that does not look only stylish, but also gives you luck. Then the mud horse pouch, that can hold up to 9 items, it's basically a mini backpack. And lastly, the swamp didgeridoo, that only works if a mud horse is near you. If played, mud horses will start to defend you. I know today was a smaller video, but the next one will be a quite bigger one, so um, be excited for it. Maybe subscribe so you don't miss out on any um, new videos. And check out my gaming channel, please. It's linked in the description. Thanks. Ciao!